everyone, welcome back to my channel and today is the first day of palette -tober. Um This is something I've made up, it's not something that's around on the internet but I have so many eyeshadow palettes. What I thought I'd do was take a palette a day, do a look and review it. Um, starting on the 1st of October and ending on the 31st, obviously with it being Halloween, I will do a Halloween look at the end. Um, so. The palette I'm using today, I thought it'd be very fitting to use one that has a number one in it. And it is the Redemption Palette Iconic One by Makeup Revolution. Oh, I feel quite snotty actually. Excuse me. And it looks like this. And this is the dupe for the um, Naked One palette, uh, which I don't have. I've just realized I don't have a mirror because there isn't a mirror in this palette, just bear with me. So what I thought I'd do is, well I've just got a little handheld mirror. I do all of my base, all of my contouring, whatever I need to do, and just do the eyes, because otherwise the videos will get quite boring and it's more or less the same base. Um, I have got a nude lipstick on today, but that's because I'm going into work later. So um, yeah, so we'll start with um, the only thing that, Okay, so this palette does have, it looks like a matte sort of creamy colour, which is good. But um, if the palettes don't have one, I will be using this Freedom palette and using that colour at the top, just because I use it all the time. I use a cream all the time on my eyes. Um, I've got my little trusty pot here. This is my travel pot. And I'm going to use similar brushes each time. So I hope to get different looks for you out of the palettes and something that you'll enjoy. I was asked to um, get closer, zoom in. I can't do that, unfortunately. My camera is not capable of doing that. It's static, it is actually my phone. So um, yeah, I think, unfortunately, I can give you a sort of overview of what it can look like. And maybe get in closer, maybe that will work. I'm sat on the edge of the bed. So I'll try and do that for those that really want to see it is a tutorial. So I have put a base on, I've put the On and On Bronze by Maybelline. And I'm gonna use that first color, I'll just show you this one here, all over the eye. Brow. With the bronze underneath, it does make it quite a different color. I'm using my Eco Tools brush. This is an eyeshadow brush. It's my favourite one to do, sort of put that base on. It picks up a lot of product and it's very, very soft. I'll just show you it here. Just, it's like a tapered eyeshadow brush. It doesn't have a name on it, unfortunately. That's a shame. So just putting that right up to the brow bone. And then I'm just going to try and put a bit in the crease just so that the crease colour has something to sort of hang on to. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take my base shadow brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to take, so I'm going to use this one as a transition colour. It's like a, I don't know what colour you could call it, beige. True beige, like a camel colour. I'm just going to put that in my crease, but all the way along. I think there's still some of the dark colour left on this, unfortunately. I should have washed my brushes, and I, beforehand. I'll try and get closer for you. So just into the crease here, and all the way along. It's so difficult to do this, like on camera. But then, there you go, that's what I chose to do. I'm going to take the next matte colour, which is this one, it's a bit darker, and I'm going to take that just in the outer part of the crease to deepen that bit up. I wonder if I'm close enough, you can see. Can you see how it's a bit darker now on that? And then I'm going to take a paddle brush. It's one of my favourite brushes as well. It was just from a cheapy set, but it's the best one. It's like a flat shade brush look. It's amazing. And I'm going to take the, hmm, 
the taupey color the taupey color here but it's got a bit of shimmer and i'm going to put that all across from the middle of the eye all the way across just from the middle And the same on the other side. That is a really pretty colour. Reminds me of one of my favourite eyeshadows, single eyeshadows from Freedom. Really pretty colour. And then I'm going to take the lighter shade here and just put that from the mid from the the, the edge to the centre. like so. Same on this side. So it looks like that. And then I'm going to take a darker colour with this brush. It's quite a fluffy brush. I'm going to take this dark colour here and pop that just in the outer V. Just deepen that up slightly. You can see there, it sort of deepened that up. Made my eyes look a bit bigger. I really like that. And I think I might leave that there because I am going to work. So I'm going to just take a fluffy brush and just neaten up those edges, give it a bit of work. This is the be most beautiful brush. Um, if you go to eBay and put L and Y, L and Y, um, blending brush, you will see it. It's so, so beautiful. So that's that done. I am going to put a little bit of eyeliner on the top, but not a um, winged eyeliner. Just going to do it on the top here. Quite a thin line. This is the PS Love um, eyeliner, and it is really, really good. I find it easier than some of the others to use, and it doesn't sort of run into your eye. It's so funny, I couldn't do eyeliner before I started iTube. Uh, Whoops, <laughs> YouTube. There you go. Practice makes permanent, as my viola teacher used to tell me. So that is that. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, I'm back. I actually just had forgot my mascara, so... Um, I'm sort of running low on mascaras. I'm trying to use them all. And uh, this one is the Volume 1 Second by Bourgeois. Um, I don't know why I bought Volume. Such a big brush. Um, it's all right. I probably wouldn't buy it again. I don't know why. I, what made me buy it. I think I saw it on someone's lashes and thought, that looks incredible. Um, but I don't like it for me, unfortunately. It's very, very thick. I guess that's why if you want volume on your lashes, that's what it's really there for. And yeah, it is a very easy mascara to use, although, as usual, I get it on the top of my eye. I have got a cold, by the way, everyone. I'm really sorry. Um, but yeah. So what I'll do is, if you've got any palettes that you might know that I have, or some that you know that, um, you would like me to like make some suggestions down below because um, I've got a whole 31 days to get through some of which will be taken up by um, my collabs which is fine and I've got one already prepared for that and um, but I will make sure you see which palettes I am using um, oh and don't forget that I will have 
by this time, by the time you see this, I will have announced my giveaway winner as well. So that's quite exciting. So I've just done the top lashes, but before I do the bottom ones, I'm actually going to use my um, nude Rimmel Eyes thing. What is it? Scandalize. Just going to use that on. I'm really sorry about my heavy breathing. I'm really not very well at the minute. Um, the things I do for YouTube. Oh, I suppose if I'm going into work, I can YouTube. That's the answer. So there, and vice versa. If I'm YouTubing, I can go into work. Um, and I suppose I have really only just woken up. It's about, what's the time? About half six. Can't really see without my glasses. Half six? Half seven? I was going to say, it's pretty light for half six. I think I got up at half six. So that's that done. And I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on those bottom lashes. I don't like using big ones for bottom lashes, but that's where we are now. So that is that look with the iconic, icon, oh, hold on, let me just see what it says. Redemption palette iconic one. So that is that. What I might do actually, just for a little bit of Leah Sparkle, that's what my name should be, shouldn't it? I'm going to take that gold, which is the um, one, it's, it's, a, it's a bright, oh sorry, I'm so snotty, it's so gross. Bright gold, and I'm just going to lay it just in the centre of the eye. See if that works. It's quite a soft shadow. I'm just going to put it in the centre. And the same on that one. Just in the centre. Just to give it a, that little bit of dimension. I might. I have you'll have to excuse this sniffing. I'm so sorry. I'm really snotty and it's gross. But you guys love me for that anyway, so that that makes me happy. Anyway, so that is the look. Let's finish the hair. Oh. And pop on the glasses. Let me just do a quick sort of and then at least I can sort of get a snapshot of it. <laughs> I find it really difficult to do that nowadays. And then with my glasses on. So yeah, make some suggestions for Palettober or join in and have some fun with me. You can join in um, at the beginning or you can join in at the end or whatever you want to do. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.